Hello my beautiful bolitas and welcome back to another banging video. So today I filmed a ColourPop haul. This is everything from I believe their Valentine's Day collection. Don't I don't know if they called it Valentine's Day collection but I know it's like I finally got everything in. I did have to purchase some other things that were out of stock with the first drop but we are finally here so if you guys would like to see everything i picked up and how it all worked out for me then just keep watching all right so i'm just gonna go right ahead and show you guys everything that i purchased so first up are these two blushes guys i wanted i had to buy this on their restock because when i went to go buy it they were like sold out but they're so pretty so this is the love me not pressed blush and the packaging is honestly to die for like this is so cute and it's like a soft matte finish the only thing these are like really hard to open up so this is what it looks like mine has like a little chip in it if you guys can see i don't know why it came like that and then it also has a mirror and like this is so cute and then this is in the shade kiss and tell and these ones i actually kept the boxes for because the boxes are so cute i might just keep these in the box i'm not gonna throw the box away so this is that shade it's such a pretty like nude a pinky nude type of vibe i like this i think this is gonna look so pretty on my skin tone so next up i also got the handheld mirror but i thought this was just too cute to not get like just to i also got these two bff liners i got this one in the shade try me so this is try me it's a really pretty red liner and i like the color pop bff liner i have um the brown one it's in the shade grande i believe and I really like it, so I'm so excited for these. And I also got this one. This is in the shade Graceland. And this is that. It's just a really pretty white one. And I've been wanting a white eyeliner. I always wanted to try the NYX one, but I always heard that it cracks and all that. Hopefully, this doesn't do that. I've read the reviews, and the reviews are great, saying it doesn't crack. And this is like the Holy Grail white liquid liner. So, we're going to see. And last but not least, I did pick up the ColourPop Sealed with the Kiss palette. I just thought might as well buy one of the eyeshadows that were there. And this is so cute. It's such a nice like red berry type of palette. I think this shade is so pretty. But I don't know what look I want to do to be honest. So that is everything that I picked up. Everything will be linked down below. I'm not sure if their Valentine's Day collection is going to be well i don't even know if it's a valentine's day well it is it was their valentine's day drop but i don't know if it's limited edition or if they're going to like continue to restock but i'll definitely let you guys know i was waiting for everything to come in and now they're finally all in so that's why this video is going up i don't care if valentine's day is over i don't care we still going to get into it so i'm going to go ahead and do my brows and prime my eyelids and i'll be right back all right, so I already did my brows, cleaned them up, and then primed my one eyelid. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the eye look. So I'm picking up my ColourPop Sealed with the Kiss palette. And what do I even want to do? All right, so I'm picking up my JH33, and I'm going to grab this shade over here. It's called Smooch, and I'm going to blend that right in my crease. Ooh, ColourPop. Look at that. It's a lot. This is a pretty, pretty color. So now I'm going to grab a clean fluffy brush and just blend that. Guys, I put like four clips in my hair because it just wouldn't not be in my way. And I really like these clips because it doesn't give the indentation. And I did my hair today. Like I just finished blow drying and straightening it and all that. So I would be mad if it dents because if I put it behind my ear... This mirror is really about to be my go-to. So now I'm going to pick up my JH32. I'm going to grab this shade over here. It's called Canoodle. And I'm going to blend that on the outer parts of my crease. Yeah, there's a bunch of kickback on this palette. Oh my goodness. All right, and then I'm going to grab my Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to pick up this shade called MAC. And I'm going to put that in my outer V. These reds are so pretty. They're really... love how they're blending. And their pigmentation. It's just so pretty. 
I don't think how much I can stress. I really love this mirror. Like, it helps so much. And I feel like it's just a cute little, like, addition. You know what I mean? Alright, now I don't know what I want to do because I want to use the white liner, but I feel like if I use... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and I'm going to try. And I really hope it don't come out bad. So I'm going to cut my crease, but first I'm going to use a Q-tip and clean up my lid area. So I'm going to use my pigment primer. This is my Elmar Cosmetics Bitto Primero Primer. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Detailer Brush. I'm going to grab my P60 brush, my Pure P60 brush. And I'm going to pick up this shade called Besos. And I'm going to place that where my pigment primer was. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So now I'm going to pick up my outer V shade and blend those together. So there's no harsh lines. This is so pretty, guys. I'm really so in love with how this looks. I didn't even spray my brush neither. And it looks so good. I wonder how it would look if I did spray my brush. But I don't want it to get clumpy, so I don't know if it's going to turn clumpy. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave it alone. So just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. All right. So now that that's done, I'm just going to come back to my eyes for the eyeliner later. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my face right now. So I'm going to grab my Benefit Professional Primer. I really love how the palette like blended all together like this look is so beautiful and I just know it's gonna look good at the end so I'm gonna show you guys my face because I'm using my Colourpop Pretty Fresh foundation so guys how have you all been lately I feel like it's been a while since I actually like sat down and talked to y'all only because I've just been so busy with work and all that stuff I barely had time to do anything. And then on top of that, my knee, oh my goodness. I have a bad knee, so I really can't remember like the initial time it really started hurting. I just remember that being on it for long periods of time, it would just hurt a lot. And this, I think about two weeks ago at this point, my knee just completely swelled up. Like it was so swollen. And I was walking around like Bambi because I was limping like it was so bad and I was wearing a brace at work and everything it just made everything so difficult and I was icing it and I was elevating it like it was it was rough and y'all it hurt so bad like that was like one of the worst pains I ever experienced like I would go to my doctor like this has been going on for a while so I would go to my doctor and like let her know and she would just tell me to baby it so this time she referred me to go get screening done so I went the other day and I got x-rays done and so he was like testing to see if I had checking to see if I had arthritis which I didn't so then he said that he thinks I tore um one of the tissues there in my knee which is causing my bones to rub together which is why it would hurt like after long periods of time walking or standing on it I have to get an MRI on well I have to make my appointment I just got approved for it so I have to make an appointment for an MRI so he can actually like go in and you know see for sure for sure that was just his like guess like that was his assumption that that's what was going on but of course the MRI is going to be the one to let us know what's been going on and I'm so like I'm scared because like I get really claustrophobic and I've never done something like this and I'm gonna have to go by myself because of COVID. So I guess I have to like prepare myself because I'm really, really anxious. So that's what's been going on with that. That's why I haven't really been too active as well because I was really taking care of myself any free time I had that past week. So guys, oh my goodness, it's officially March and it's my boyfriend's birthday month. Ah, I'm so excited. His birthday is coming up so soon. It's on the 13th. He's gonna be 21. Okay. I could cry about it. I really could cry about it. I feel like, like, y'all probably think I'm being mad dramatic, but it's just like, 
I met him when we were, he was 18 and I was 18. I had just turned 18. He wished me happy birthday on my 18th birthday. We were little babies when we first met each other. And just to think like now he's going to be 21, like my man's is growing. He's growing up. But I'm so excited. I planned a birthday trip for him. All he knows is where we're going. Like he doesn't know what we're... I plan to do or anything else I'm doing for him and I'm not going to tell y'all neither because he'd be on my videos so you thought you thought I was gonna say what I was doing and your gift psych try again I'm just so excited but he's gonna love it guys I can't I just can't wait like I really can't wait I'm really so excited it was a lot though like planning all this stuff but just thinking like it was not not like a lot like it was a hassle just making sure we're like we're educated on where we're going and everything nearby and all that stuff and we still have to pack like it's gonna be even more stressful we're not even at the most stressful part yet but it's gonna be a good time and i'm so excited and i just want to make it the best for him because you know i feel like 20 like, 21 is such an important, like, birthday, at least, I think. And he thinks as well, like, you're 21. You're 20. Y'all did not just see all that powder. I'm dead. Like, you're 21. You only turn 21 once. You gotta make the most of it. You know what I mean? And I'm really excited. And I know he's really excited. I'm really excited for my 21st birthday, too. Mine is in May. But we're not even gonna talk about that yet until his birthday is done. Because it's his birthday month. You know, I feel like it's gonna be a good time, and it's like my first time traveling, like, without my mom or my dad, and I'm really scared. I really am. Around Christmas time, that's when things just get really stressful because it's Christmas and then it's New Year, and then it's like, not the like New Year, but like just the whole thing of it being like, oh my gosh, it's New Year, and then it's his. Val first of all it's valentine's day and then his birthday is literally less than a month after valentine's day because his birthday is the 13th and then it's my birthday like two months after but before my birthday my best friend her 21st is also in may but it her birthday is may 13th right. bitch it is it is may 13th actually we're gonna get like an Airbnb and it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna be there for a week. We're just gonna turn up for my best for 21st. I'm just so excited. And then like after that, it's like basically my birthday, like the week after. I feel like the nose contour is the most intense part because it can go real wrong. Guys, my hair got so long. I'm gonna show y'all like this. I was trying to stand up and show y'all, but look at how long it got. It feels so good. I'm never cutting it short again. Unless I'm a mom. So y'all could really hold me to that. Because never, ever, ever again will I cut my hair that short. Unless I'm a mom. I, like, my hair was, like, up to here, y'all. Here. Like, that's a lot. That was a lot. My hair was so short. I needed the cut, though. I'm glad I got to experience short hair to find out i don't like it kind of want to mix both blushes so i'm gonna start out with this one and then i'm gonna top it off with the love me not one so this is the kiss and tell blush mm. I love how nice and rosy my cheeks look. <laughs> I'm so excited. Alright, so this next thing is either going to kill the look or make it better. So I'm going to use this white liner and I want to trace where I cut my crease here. And put this liner to the test because that's the main reason why I bought this liner. So I can do cute stuff like that. So if it don't work, then it don't work. <sighs> Guys, I messed up. I'm, I'm... bad i really don't for my first time mm. 
These are, my eyes are two different shapes and you can tell. You really could tell. I really like this white liner and it did such a good job. I'm just mad that they don't match, but it's cool. Like that's a cool learning process. I'm just glad I didn't mess up the whole look, you know? Y'all, I just hit myself in my face with my eyeshadow. Oh, nah. I like it. It's definitely uneven. I think it's my eye shapes. But definitely for next time, I'm going to pay more attention. Pay more close attention to that. Because we all still learning here. We don't judge nobody. But the liner is cool. I do see it, like, you know, creasing and cracking. And if you go over it too many times, it's going to start dragging and messing up. So be mindful for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my eyes and my lips and I'll bring it back. So I put on my lashes. I just want to show you guys my lip combo. And I'm going to do my lower lash line as well. I'm going to use my NYX lip pencil in the shade Nutmeg. So I'm going to use my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. And then on top, I want to throw on my ColourPop Luxe Gloss. This is in the shade Come Through. So I'm going to use my JH42. It's this really small shader brush. I'm going to start off with the shade Canoodle and I'm going to use that all the way up until here. Now for the very end, I'm going to grab MAC. Oh nah, it bent low key. Hold up, hold up. My hair bent, like y'all see that? Ooh, they lied. All right, you guys, so that is all for today's video. I really enjoyed everything that I picked up. I love the liner. I love the blushes. I love the eyeshadow palette. Like, everything was amazing. And I also stuck to ColourPop as well. I used my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Beautiful. These blushes, I can't get over it. Like, I love how I look, and I love how this came out, guys. Like, can't stress it enough. And the Lux gloss just made it so glossy and it looks so good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please make sure you like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications to so be notified every single time that i post and with all that being said i hope you guys are having a great week i hope you're staying safe keeping positive and having good vibes only and i'll see you all next time bye so where's this brush i'm looking for i have a